The U.S. Department of Defense 2022 fiscal year budget was submitted for $715 billion on May 28th. Communist China's defense budget in 2021 was roughly $210 billion. Even though that's less than one-third of the U.S. defense budget, Congress has increasing concerns about Communist China. General Milley, if you were to assess China or Russia's capabilities in a conflict, how would you compare our own, including their overseas presence, ability to project power, and relationship with allies? They are not our peer or near peer just yet, but they are rapidly growing. Uh, so they are a very, very significant competitor to the United States, but they are not yet our equal. The Biden administration submitted its fiscal year 2022 budget to Congress. The national defense budget is $752.9 billion. Of that amount, $715 billion is for the Department of Defense, or DOD. For the Navy, Air Force, and Space Force, there are additional investments needed to address strategic competition with Communist China. General Mark Milley, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, said the DOD will invest to strengthen advanced technologies. We're experiencing a change in the character of war where we have a variety of the very advanced technologies that are all converging in time and space over the next 10, 15 years. Those are hypersonics, precision munitions, robotics, artificial intelligence, and a wide variety of other technologies. China is investing heavily in all of those capabilities. Uh, we need to uh, definitely do that. This budget does a lot of that. Uh, it'll have to be a sustained level of effort over many years, but it's critical to the defense of the United States that we invest in advanced technologies. I, I would say you're right. Uh, China is not yet our peer uh, in worldwide uh, uh, military capability, but do they exceed our capability in the South China Sea? First of all, you, you've heard me say uh, before that China is currently and will remain our pacing challenge uh, going forward. We established the China uh, Task Force that uh, is about to complete its work and will inform uh, you know, our our uh, efforts uh, going forward here and help us to uh, create synergies and, and eliminate duplication and more uh, more uh, efficiently focus us on this uh, on a China challenge. We will never seek to, to numbers are important, but we will never seek to match our adversaries uh, uh, one for one. We will always seek to uh, to develop a much greater capability, and and that's our approach. And I think we're on path to achieving that. The U.S. invested $20.6 billion in space and space-based systems, which included $1.8 billion to upgrade the GPS system. The Pentagon also invested $6.6 .6 billion to develop and field multi-service, multi-domain, offensive long-range fires. Uh, you'll see uh, investments in uh, missile uh, defeat and defense. Uh, you'll see a significant investment in our in our naval forces, long-range fires, as the chairman mentioned earlier, and probably uh, the largest ever request for uh, RDT&E for, for uh, uh, development of technologies. So, you know, our effort, again, is to make sure that uh, we have the ability to leverage uh, uh, quantum computing, to, uh, to, to begin to leverage uh, AI, uh, space-based platforms, and, and not only just leverage them, but begin to, to network these, uh, these capabilities in ways that uh, they've never uh, been networked. And that will, that will provide us uh, significant capability. Uh, we recognize the fact that China is making, attempting to make strides in, in cyber and space, uh, but we're confident in the things that the mix of capabilities that we're investing in will, will put us in the right place in terms of maintaining a competitive edge and increasing that competitive edge going forward. When asked about the importance of long-range fires and their significance to ground forces, General Milley believes that it is the warfighting concept of the future. So we are experimenting with a variety of uh, concepts uh, within that. One of those concepts is uh, joint long-range fire. Uh, the Navy provides joint long-range fires. The Air Force provides joint long-range fires. The Marines are developing joint long-range fires and the Army is developing joint long-range fires. Each of them bring a unique and distinctly uh, uh, ca a distinct capability to integrate into 
the joint warfighting concept uh, of the future. Uh, when I first became Chief of Staff of the Army six years ago, uh, when I looked at that budget, we were mortgaging our future to pay for the present. Uh, today, it's the opposite. We are trying right now to put down payments on investments that are going to pay huge dividends five, 10, 15 years from now for a future force that will be able to compete successfully with any adversary out there to include uh, China. Long range precision fires are one of many of those capabilities. The Pentagon plans to spend $112 billion on research, development, test, and engineering, or RDTND. It will also spend $2.3 billion on microelectronics and 5G. And it's important that all of the services have that capability to present the enemy with multiple problems to solve simultaneously so that we're inside their decision loop and they won't be successful.